motor companies hit a bump in the road with its number one selling truck, the F-150. Now across southeastern Michigan, there are thousands of 2024 F-150s just like what you'll see here stockpiled waiting to be shipped to dealers. Now seeing stockpiled vehicles was really a common sight back during the pandemic because of the microchip shortage at the time. So that begs the question, is this the same issue we're dealing with now or is this something different? Well, 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell looked into why these trucks have yet to make it to the showroom floor. Hundreds, if not thousands, of brand new 2024 Ford F-150s like these right here have been sitting in lots across Metro Detroit and just a stone's throw away from Ford World Headquarters. So we inquired to Ford to figure out why. Drone 7 video shows hundreds of 2024 Ford F-150s stockpiled in Dearborn, right off Mercury Drive, waiting to be sent to dealers across Metro Detroit and across the country. You might be wondering why. This time, it's not a chip shortage, but what Ford calls a quality control issue. Issues like Ford F-150 owner Jamie Dernest, who picked up his Ford F-150 pickup truck back in 2018. The day I went to bring it home from the lot, the AC compressor took a dump on it. So I couldn't even drive it home. And for Jamie, he says it's a great truck and loves it, but the issues keep popping up. I got an issue now actually trying to take it to the dealer for. Uh, it's got a coolant leak, just a line, power inverter, power inverter went bad on it. Automotive industry expert John McElroy says quality control has been a problem for Ford over the years. In January, Ford issued a recall for over 112,000 F-150s built between 2021 and 2023. This latest problem with the F-150 is definitely going to hurt the company from a financial standpoint, and it's something I, I know they're working on but they haven't solved yet. Ford CEO Jim Farley, who took the helm in 2020, has said multiple times that quality control is a big issue for him and is working to address the problem and get it right. McElroy says they need to dig deeper. And has got to dig deeper into why it's got these problems. And, you know, blaming it on suppliers is easy enough to do. But why are suppliers having these kind of quality problems? Are there last minute design changes? Are, is Ford trying to source to the cheapest parts that it can possibly buy? I don't know, but it seems to me they've got to dig deeper than they have so far. I reached out to Ford for a comment and they said in part, quote, thousands of trucks are in transit and for the last several weeks, we've been ramping up shipments as we complete thorough launch quality checks to ensure these new F-150 trucks meet our high standards and delight customers. For Jamie, he likes how Ford is taking ownership to fix the problems that need to be addressed. I've been real happy with that truck, so if it make them better than that, I'll buy another one in a heartbeat. In Dearborn, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News.